welcome to Valheim. This is a new adventure survival game all based around you being trapped in a purgatory, getting into Valhalla, proving yourself to Odin by slaying these one, two, three, four, five bosses and ascending to Valhalla. This is our companion. He basically tells us everything we need to know. And yeah, let's get into this. This is the beautiful world of Valhalla. Um, the graphics are pretty meh. Let's pick up this branch. Um, as you can see, once you grab items, they will then tell you what it is you can craft from said item. And yeah, so the goal of this episode is to make a house, get some armor, and then explore the wilderness around our house. So let's get it. So we're just going to spend a couple moments again building up some resources, building up some skills. And just like Minecraft, if you beat these little twig trees, you can obviously get wood from it or if you want, you can get a you can go around find branches like this if you don't want to waste the stamina. Boop, boop, boop. One key word of advice I have for people and that I've learned through my travels in the land of, of Valhalla is grabbing everything on the ground, whether it be mushrooms, whether it be berries or whatnot, just grab them. Um, don't eat, don't really focus on eating the berries. And we're going to be ignoring that little crow guy just because um, I kind of know what I'm doing up until the second boss i have not defeated the second boss so we're it's kind of gonna be in a learning adventure for both of us once we get <laughs> to that portion up until then i don't really uh, i'll just explain to myself good sir Ooh, here is a boar so these ones it doesn't really matter if you sneak up on the deer it kind of does but these bad boys it doesn't really matter these guys you can use for farming meat and leather scraps leather scraps are a very very big must. And as you can see, the combat's not really that rough to get a hang of. You just smack them more than you smack you get smacked, and hopefully do it in rapid su succession. What is happening here? Okay, you need to stop following me, sir. Ah! So the ideal spot for me to build a shelter ooh, is um, along the coastline. I would like to have it be more of like an open area, but honestly, somewhere like this might be a pretty good place if I do say so myself. It's got a lot of trees that I could just smack down. Okay. These little lizard guys are a quick source of food, I'd say. Ooh, a bed. Whoopsies. Something that um, I learned, um, not in my first playthrough, actually by watching a guide, is if you place down a crafting bench, sorry, um, but if you place down like a crafting bench near anything, everything in a certain radius of said crafting bench, you can destroy and then take all of the materials for yourself. So it's a quick, easy way of getting things such as wood. And then you can just destroy it afterwards. And everything you destroy in this game, it gives you um, all of the stuff back instantly. And it looks like off in the distance, we have another one of these structures. Honestly, this area might be a good area. We have two structures. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. I got scared there for a second. I was getting ganged up on by nature. Fuck you, Mother Nature. You can't do shit to me. Oh, my. Oh, I might die here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Well, as you can see, if you run out of stamina <laughs> before uh, you get ashore, you, uh, you can die from that. Bam. Easily take out a structure, get the beehives done, and getting a queen bee, which will allow me to get a beehive which I can then turn into my own personal honey source, which will be kind of a renewable, what's it called? 
renewable food source, which would be great. Too encumbered if I pick up anything else. So we're gonna just gonna we're gonna check this for a chest, and if if there is okay, we'll talk to you just to get you out. If there is a chest, ooh, there looks like ooh, looks like there is a chest. So what we'll do? Do the beehive method again. And then we'll click three again and then take care of the beehive. Bam. Take care of the beehive, get that honey and whatnot. Ooh, okay, feathers. But we'll just, we'll go ahead and place the wood in here. We'll, we'll actually keep that down there. Honestly, I think we're gonna build a house right should i build like a little camp and then a small little shack i'll just build up that shack honestly and nah that's a little too small eh, nah, we can we can build a house we, we we can build a bed at least it's already got a chest or whatnot when you find structures like these you can easily just build them back up It might be a little cramp at the start. Eh. But you can make it work. See? Uh oh, well, that was wrong. So many levels. Oh my. Ah! I messed up. Whoopsies. Bam! Here is the here is this, oh, whoopsies, keep on destroying this, but here is the structure, nice little, nice little structure we got here, and then let's see, here, ooh, we need more wood, so we'll just go, take some good good from here, and then, Flip that around, build a bed, and then ooh, what we'll do is we will build a campfire. I destroyed the I destroyed the ground because you cannot place campfire on wood, obviously. You can place it around it, but you cannot place it on it. Now, as you can see, there, um, if you cover the campfire with too much, um, well, if you cover the campfire too much, then it will do that. Um, it will fill up wherever you are with smoke. And kill you! So, yeah, that was probably not the smartest decision. Not the smartest decision ever. Yeah! So, now we have to make the long trek back, but luckily, it gets marked on the map. And and if you see on the top right-hand corner over there, you can actually zoom out with comma and zoom in with period. So we're just going to do that, and then just sprint on back, because it's just over this hill. I'm disappointed in myself. <laughs> oh no, what am I doing? So, nighttime's really spooky in this game, just because it is. Like, it's... I don't know. It's kind of terrifying. One, will grab my stuff. Bam. Two. We'll destroy that. Destroy that. Destroy that. Destroy that. Destroy that. And then... Boop. Boop. And then we will... Build up a half wall. Build up a half wall. Peach. It was not snapped correctly. And I believe if I have it like this, and then, well, let, let, let's put this first. <laughs> then I put this on. Ta-da! Now we got a nice little chimney going. And then I feel like if I just... Oh, whoopsies. Now, just for a decoration's sake, we're, we're gonna... Bam. 
Bam, and then... Bam! Look at that. Got a nice little humble abode. Where is the wall torch? We're just gonna put that... Right here. And look at that. Nice little humble abode. Nice little raspberries outside. And we got ourselves starter house. Now, I am proud of what we've done here with this house. Um, as you can see, once you sleep. Oh, uh, that's... Uh, spoke too soon about the proudness of the house. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Today, we are going to craft the flint axe. Um, and then... Our next mission is to get a bow. Next mission is to get a bow and then get some rag tunics and pants. Some arrows and maybe looking into upgrading everything. We need to work on killing a deer. In the bottom left hand corner, you can see a little arrow. That's the direction in which um, the wind is blowing. So if you're... Obviously make sure that you're not staring directly at it now we're just now we're just focusing on getting some um in some deers getting some deers getting some yeah just deers Ooh, looks like we are coming up on a black forest bam crap this bad boy let's destroy this whole thing let's bring it out Okay, and then we will build this up. Boop. Five, let's just... Boop. Here will be the fire pit. Boop, boop, boop. And then... Hopefully, let's hope now... That no smoke comes into here. We are completely just taking over this shack. I am so sorry for the previous owners. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't think they're really going to mind just because, well, I mean, they're probably dead. Knowing this game. Ah! What the fuck? Ah, no! Okay, I'm getting stuck. I'm getting stuck here. I need to destroy that chest and then move it just a wee bit back. Sometimes the building in this game is just, um... Just really rough, but one, I feel like once you get it down, obviously I have not, as you can tell from this. Um, it, it does look very nice. I don't, I, I have yet to figure out triangles. Um, triangles are very hard for me. Maybe this one? Nope. Um, yeah, triangles, not a possibility for your boy. <laughs> but, hey. Nice little house built, little chimney down, see the sunrise, and finally, the coup de gras. Build this bad boy. Let's just build two, just to be safe. Um, and then, can we add meat to it? We can! Look at that. Well... I think that's gonna do it for this day. I fucking hate myself. Oh my god. Well, I think that's gonna do it for today's episode. We got a little starter house. We got some armor. We got upgraded materials in the sense of the flint axe. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this type of content. Um, expect a lot more of Valheim. And I will see you guys in the next Let's Play. Peace.